Hi, everybody. Happy Fourth of July. This, again, is Evan Jones from Pursuitery.com. And uh, I'm just starting a little bit early because I want to let everybody know that we're on. So I'm going to turn some things on right fast and hang out for just a second while we get our screen shares ready. This is going to be the show and tell for the Pursuitery.com Coding with Scratch Board Challenge. So if you'll give me one second, I'll do a little tech wizardry here, and we'll be off. Okay, thanks for staying with us, everybody. Again, as I mentioned, my name is Evan Jones. I'm the community manager for Pursuitery.com, and we thank you all for joining us today on the 4th of July. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, it's still the 4th anyway. We hope you're all having a lovely holiday if it applies to you, and if not, we just hope you're having a great day. So anyway, today is our Scratch Show and Tell, where we're going to highlight some projects from our third challenge, The Horde. Now, if you want to join in on the fun, go to Pursuitery.com, create an account, and then you're eligible to join any of our Scratch game challenges. You'll need a Scratch account, too, and you can get that at scratch.mit.edu. Again, you can just visit Pursuitery, see it's spelled there, pursuitery.com, and get a free account there, and a scratch.mit.edu account is also free. And you'll be off and running to join in any of the challenges. We have Phone Our Nation happening right now and digital storytelling. We have Coding with Scratch happening for everybody who's in Scratch. We've been getting some amazing feedback and some amazing games. We're going to talk about some of those today. And so just go ahead and jump in. We'd love to have you there. It's been an overwhelming show of support so far, and it's been a really good time. So to break down the system, there are five challenges, and the challenges run until August 24th. And we announce a new one every Monday morning. So if you get all of your challenges entered into our system by 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time on August 24th, you'll get a Scratch Digital Ninja Badge. Now, here's the cool thing. We're also running a nice little concurrent contest with every challenge. If you enter and submit your board challenge by 11.59 p.m. PDT on Sunday, July 6th, again, that's Pacific Time because we're all California here, you'll be eligible to win this a Makey Makey controller. So we've had several geek outs with these where we've shown them off. Uh, they're great. They're a ton of fun. Basically, uh, the Makey Makey is a controller system that uh, works with alligator clips and, or, and uses a, yourself as earth or aluminum foil to basically function as a great control system for your game. So you can combine this with Scratch and just kind of take your games to the next level, actually make them physically interactive. Um, it works with pretty much any computer system. Works with Mac OS, works with Windows, works with Linux as well. So it's a lot of fun. And if you have your entry in by Sunday, July 6th at 11:59 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which would be, you know, right actually Pacific Night Time if you want to be technical about it, you are eligible to win the Makey Makey. We're going to have a challenge for that. We announce a new every week. We have a challenge going. But if you're in by the weekly challenge you're eligible for the Makey Makey. However, if you want to study at your own pace and you do the self-study bit, that's cool too, as long as you have all your entries in by 11.59 p.m. PDT on August 24th, all five of your challenge entries in, you will get the Scratch Digital Ninja Badge. So we're just excited as all can be to bring that to you, and we think you'll have a great shot at enjoying this all. Uh, lots of cool programming happening. It's going to be a good time. So. There you go. And again, please visit Pursuitery.com, as it's spelled below, for all the details and to create your account. And then you can start on Scratch. And you can start on Phone Our Nation as well. If you're on Twitter, you can always reach us by using the hashtag Coding with Scratch, as you see below. I'll be checking that periodically throughout the day. Uh, today I'm hosting solo, so it'll be a little bit slower as I make sure everything works right. But uh, it should be a good time. So the point of the 
show and tells is we want to highlight and present some of the many, many challenges we've received while running the Coding Scratch program. First off, thanks to everybody, and we mean everybody who submitted. Uh, the support has been overwhelming. We don't have time to present every single challenge we've received, uh, but we're so excited to see them. They've been a ton of fun to look at and play through. And also, we've received so much support from the community, not even people making games, not just people making games, but people who are helping to coach and people who are giving us ideas and people who are answering ideas for people that are taking part in the challenges. Um, all of you deserve a round of applause. You've done a great job, and we've learned so much from it. It's been such a good time. So what we want to do is make sure that everybody knew that we really did appreciate it. And we want to go ahead and show you some of the games we're working on right now. So I'm going to mess with some tech stuff and get this ready to show you some screen highlights. I have so many cords and cables in my home studio. All right. There we go. So yeah, as we're mentioning, please visit Pursuitery.com uh, to get in on the challenges. It would be a really good time if you do. And if you're entered by Sunday night, 11.59 p.m., you are eligible for the Makey Makey for the Horde Challenge. And again, if you get the rest of the challenges in by 11.59 p.m. PDT on August 24th, you will get a Scratch Digital Ninja badge. So again, the point of this week is to show off some of the surprises that we saw in our game studios and our Scratch studios. If you visit Pursuitery.com and you look at the various challenges, you'll get links to all of them. They're all live. We also have coaches helping out there. And again, all these challenges today have come from the Horde Scratch Studio, which you can see from the Horde Challenge page on Pursuitery.com. And you can get links to talk with coaches there if you're working on some things and you have some questions by visiting the resources and help section on that page for the challenge. It's all basically highly interactive here. The, the point is we just want everybody to have as much fun with Scratch as possible. So we've got the games listed on this Geek Out page now for the Horde Show and Tell if you're watching this live. And we also have everything listed on our Horde Studio on scratch.mit.edu. And again, everything's free to take part in. It's free to participate. And so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you some screenshots so you can get the links to the actual games to play. I'm not going to try and live broadcast the games today just because I'm afraid I may have some tech issues. And if I cut out, that'd be just the saddest fourth ever. So give me one second here. We'll activate the screen share magic. And click, click, click. So there you go. That's the the three challenges we've featured today are the Horde Challenge by Geek Bunny, Rats by Spectre22, and the Horrific Horde by Apple314. So we have some examples from these games, and I want to show you some screenshots. Let me just expand this window a bit more for you. So there's some examples from the games, but please take note of these links. And again, they are linked from our page at Pursuitery.com. So looking at the Horrific Horde for, first, this is a really interesting game and really well done. This was by Apple314. And here's the link here. It's an example of a wizard being swarmed by bats. You can see there's a health a timer and a level variable at work there. Really cool sounds, really playable, and actually has some really neat options that you'll see on the next picture here, wherein, I'm going to go full screen with this. Oh, it's a little bit small. Well, basically, you have the opportunity to use the arrow keys to move and avoid the bats, but you can shoot with the space bar, so you've got a weapon. You can press 1 to destroy all the bats on the screen. You can just eradicate them completely. And 2 to shoot really fast. Now, the cool thing about using 4 is it turns that option off, and 3 allows you to move very fast, so your character gets a speed boost, and you use 5 to turn that off. Um, some really cool music in this game, some really cool effects. I really do suggest that everybody gives it a play. Again, it's linked from the Procedure page, and you can see the links. I'll share them again on this page here. And don't worry, if you go to Pursuitery.com, you'll see all the 
games linked from our show and tell page for this geek out and we'll share them via Twitter as well. So if you can just search coding with scratch, you'll see the link to these. So you can see there, I got in a little bit of trouble with my wizard and I got in more trouble with my wizard. So excellent, excellent job, Apple 314. Um, coming up next is Rats by Spectre 22. This is a really cool game as well. Uh, the sense of design on it is amazing and kudos to Spectre for doing such a great job. Uh, basically, I'm the Scratch Cat, and I'm running around this maze collecting cheese. You see I've got a health variable, and you see I have the rats variable, and I'm trying to beat a number so I can get past it. And the design and the graphics and how everything worked here is just fantastic. And this is Spectre 22. It's a fun game. It's very fast. I suggest everybody gives it a quick play. It's, it's really quite impressive, and the rats come out of that little vortex in the middle of the screen, as you can see. And so that's really, really fun. And uh, basically, you are trying to beat a certain score, and the rats are coming after you, which depletes that score. So that's what's going on there. So that's Rats by Spectre22. And finally, The Horde Challenge by Geek Bunny. And this is a, a fun one for all you old-school sci-fi fans. Um, you're being cha you're You're actually chasing them. They're not chasing you. So it's a nice little flip on it. And you're chasing Daleks from Doctor Who. So I know a lot of people are immediately really, really happy about that. So if you check out the, basically, there's the screenshots of it. You see the background's quite detailed and nice. The avatar is pretty interesting. And you're just uh, basically taking care of the Daleks. And uh, you're, you see the number increases there in the upper right for that, upper left for that variable. And so you're just chasing around the screen, some uh, nice interactivity there, excellent use of avatars, and a really interesting place of random use of random placement, uh, as we mentioned in the uh, hints and tips guides. So there you have it. Those are our games for the week. The Horde Challenge by Geek Bunny, Rats by Spectre22, and The Horrific Horde by Apple314. Uh, again, we want to thank everybody. I'm going to turn all the screen sharing stuff off now. Again, we want to thank everybody who entered, and those are just three of the many, many, many games we got, and we have been having so much fun playing them. It's really interesting to, to stop doing all your work and to go like, oh, I've got to play video games, but trust me, it's one of the best problems I've ever had, and it's so much fun. So again, if you're interested in jumping in and working on your own games and interacting with the community and learning more about the games and how to code with Scratch and also how to tell stories with Scratch and make your own animations and see all the basic tools that you will need to make games at a programming level and start to understand things like collision detection and artificial intelligence, please visit Pursuitery.com. You can see how it's spelled there. And uh, jump in the challenges. Again, it's all free. You can get a free account with Pursuitery. You can get a free account at scratch.mit.edu. And you just enter from there, and we've got coaches standing by to help. And again, a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has taken part in this. It's been so much fun and we've learned so much from it and just we are amazed by your creativity your warmth and your friendliness and please do keep it going so again we've really enjoyed playing through everything and I just want to make a note and I'm gonna check my Twitter feed here to make sure that nobody had questions oh everybody's off on the fourth having a time um, we just want to let everybody know that if you're in the horde challenge this week you enter by 11.59 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Sunday night, which is the 6th, and you're eligible for a Makey Makey. So get your Horde Challenge entries in. We've been having a great time playing them. Again, I can't overstate that. I know I'm, I'm gushing with excitement here, but it's, it's genuine. It's been pretty great to see all the games. And if you have any questions, please visit Pursuity.com. We'll point you to some Scratch coaches. We'll do anything we can. You can tweet us again at Coding with Scratch, and we'll take care of it. And again, have a great fourth. Thank you all so very much for entering. Thank you so much for watching and supporting and telling your friends and just playing games and having a good time. We hope you're having a tenth as much fun as we are having putting this all on. Um, next week we will be doing the Choose Your Adventure Challenge. That's going to start on Monday night. 
after the deadline ends for the Makey Makey Challenge. I just like saying Makey Makey, if you wonder why I keep bringing that up. And we will have our Monday Geek Out at 10 a.m. for the intro to Choose Your Adventure. And again, for Pursuitery.com, my name's Evan. I'm the Community Manager, and thank you all. Have a great fourth. Have a great weekend. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.